this is the stop after lunch kind of an early afternoon stop it's been by far the best stop of the trip with red snapper coming up everywhere i'm pretty sure we probably got one here maybe a gag you never know the fish have been coming up all over the boat nice red snapper i haven't seen a gag caught yet but there could have been one or two let's see what this gentleman has here here we there go. We He's coming. Nice fish. Ooh, Might need a gaff Might on this one, Will. <laughs> nice fish, sir. Good job. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is John Martin coming to you live from Madeira Beach, Florida, home of Hubbard Marina. We're about to head out on another great 39-hour trip going after red snapper and gag grouper. Are y'all ready to go get them? Ready. All right. He's ready to do the pole dance. That's I love good. that. So <laughs> where are y'all coming from? We're coming from Tampa. Tampa, Myers. Florida, right Fort here. Myers. Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Okay. Yes, sir. Tampa or Fort, Fort Myers? Fort Myers Tampa. and Tampa. Okay. Do y'all, y'all, so y'all are meeting up here? My mom. Okay. Mom inside. This is your big boy? Yeah, is he boy. your baby boy? Nah. I'm my mama's big baby boy. <laughs> I'm the youngest of three. Nice. So y'all ready? You all right, sir? So you ready to tear them up? Tear them up. All right. Well, you're right next to a legend here. Jig head Ed. How you doing, brother? I'm here. You're here. All right. In attendance. He's a real conversationalist. He's just for Bob. Here we go. I believe it's pretty close. Hey, 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 it made it, it made it. You did all right. All right, sir, what can we expect this trip? Or well, what are we looking nice for? Easy. That was probably the easiest part of the trip, right there. It's pretty hot. Yeah, oh man, it's hot here. I feel like it's gonna be cooler offshore though, like it has been. They're ex calling extreme heat on land, but no rain, it doesn't look like out there to me. So we're headed back out there, guys. We're coming off this midweek trip was probably our best trip of the season so far and uh, had a limit of big red snappers where we were throwing back big red snappers by the end of the day. Hopefully we have that good fortune again this trip and did well on the mangroves at night and picked at the gag groupers. So came back with probably 15 or 20 gags and a big pile of red snappers and decent on the mangroves. So we're gonna go fish similar areas, similar depth. We can't keep fishing the same spots or the fish go away, you know? So new spots and uh, hopefully a similar, similar result. Full boat high hopes, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we'll check back with you and see how we're doing later on. Oh, he's got plenty of room. Oh, yeah, oh, he got oh, plenty of room. He's lost his boots. He's lost his boots. He's lost his boots. He's lost his boots. All right, here we're going through John's Pass Bridge into the open Gulf of Mexico. Probably fish about somewhere between 12 and 1 o'clock tonight. We'll probably get started. Look at all the action out here, man. You can do any kind of water sport here at John's Pass. Jet skis, to look at the sailboat there. People going out on their party on their own private vessels. Parasailing, I don't know if you can see it. you're going to see some packed beaches here in just a moment. All right, as we clear these jetties, we're in the open Gulf of Mexico. This is Madeira Beach coming into focus here. And there are people here enjoying the fun in the sun, cooling off. All right, Tammy is hard at it here. Italian sausage, sauerkraut, Potato salad, <laughs> cheese. Give me with a smile. There you go. Nice. And a melt the cheese for too. Putting in the microwave, melt the cheese, potato salad. Equal smile on his face. All, All right, well. we're about to make our first drop here. We got the omnipresent Jason on standby here Hello, to drop the anchor. Good morning. We're about to make our first drop on this 39 hour trip. Hopefully get some mangoes, maybe some gags, red snapper. I did get a pretty good night's sleep. 
it seems to be almost flat calm out here there's very little breeze which sounds good but actually it's not it's better to have a little bit of breeze not only there goes the horn not only to keep you a little cooler but mainly to give you an anchor heading there's the horn which means we're tying it off and about to start fishing Jason, come tell us what to expect, man. Come on. Yeah, just expect a nice bite here. It looked uh, pretty sporty on this spot. Just a nice uh, eight, ten foot ledge, and uh, yeah, see where there's some mangoes there. Mangoes, man. Mangoes. That's, what, that's what it's all about. Down there. Well, I'm gonna go see I'll if I can find me a dumb one. <laughs> yes, sir. They're all down right, there. I'll check back <laughs> with you later, man. We're at the top of a 30 foot ledge, about 110 feet of water. You guys can drop them down whenever you're ready. Watch professional stringer upper here. There we go. There you go. No. There's that gag and the light a little bit better there. Good job. All right. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Ed. Got the legend of Jig Head Ed hooked up early this morning here. The first troll of the day between spots. He said he thinks it's a kingfish. Got color. That's a tuna, I think. Yeah. A black fin, eh? Yeah. No, it's a bonita. It's a bonita. It's a green fin tuna. <laughs> He said it is not a bonita. Not get any head check or nothing. It cost me a half a red snapper right now. snapper came up there. There's a strawberry. Mangoes from the last stop. Gaganita. It's called salt water, man. Oh. Classic Gaganita. Oh, let me drop this gas in the water. Sure Classic Gaganita. Fish here. Go behind you. Need a gaff? Gaff. All right, keep on there, baby. Keep on there. Oh, Red snapper. I don't want the puppies. Snack up a little bit. 
Here, Here we, we go. go. He's coming. Nice Ooh. fish. Ooh. Might need a gaff on this one, gaff. Will. <laughs> nice fish, sir. Good job. Thank you. There you go. Beautiful fish. Fish like that have been coming up all over the boat. This has been the best stop by far. Take this over there. Put it right in there. Just put it. Put it now. Oh man! Got color. It's a shark. It's a big ass shark. It's a big, big shark. Well, good news is he'll be in the video, but we got to get him up where he smiles. We got to get him up where he smiles. Shark videos are very popular. I know you'd rather have a gag. He's going to the stern. Oh man, this shark is right there. Yeah, I just want to try to get him to smile. Oh yeah. He is right there where he might not get you. Yeah, I got, somehow I got to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get him where I can. Follow me. I don't want to, man. Trust me. I'm trying to. Both hands are pulling the one I'm coming. Hey, I'm Thank you, Mama. Will. Oh, we need to bring Will. Shark. I'm coming. I'm Can coming. you help Ed right here? He's got this cat. I, I can't get in here to film it good. All right, where are we at, boys? Help Ed first. The shark's coming up right here. All right, so guys, when I bring this in the boat, when I bring this shark on the boat, He's gone. Oh, yeah. We got pretty good Whew. video of him. I was trying to get him to smile. <laughs> All right, we're filming Jason here, pulling the anchor for the last time here. The trip is officially over. We're heading back to John's Pass. Had a pretty good trip here overall. This the last stop here was really good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sound of going home when that anchor hits home in the chute. It is time to go home. You see Jason has tied it off right there. All right, Jason, come over yes, here and sir. tell us. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about what we did today. Well, we put another uh, another great red snapper shirt together. Brian has uh, done it again. He, he uh, came through and put us on the fish, and we got a, a Good load of fish, nice catch. It was a steady night bite, you know, nothing crazy, but a nice grade of mangoes throughout the night. You know, had some red snapper mixed in there, had some nice gag grouper mixed in there. Um, then during the day, poked out some deeper water, and uh, that one red snapper spot that absolutely popped off. It was off. good, but, it was yeah, really it was a good. Great time. And then leading up to that, we had a couple of nice gag spots where we were pulling up nice three, you know, four. Uh, keepers at a time and uh, good quality of gags too. We've heard, heard, I got a gag at the very end here. Oh, really? Did yeah. You? Nice, nice. So that makes what? Two or three for you this I got fit. two. Two this fit. Very nice. Yeah, we have uh, I, I got Ed, a decent I guess red Ed's snapper. Big one. Yeah, Ed's I would a nice say so. snapper. I think Ed's the biggest. It's probably top 30 pounds. Yeah. Craig got a nice 20 something pounder. Uh, so yeah, it was a fun trip. Some big red snapper, great great fish. Uh, nice vermilion, good little porgy, mangrove. Mixed get home, there, turn around, man, and man. do it again, right? Let's get home. Let's uh, <laughs> turn around, turn get around, the boat ready. Do it right back out. Do it again. Yeah. And if, uh, 
guys for a nicer day. So. Well, as they say, I'll see you at the dock. Man. We'll be back at the dock. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it. It was a really solid trip overall. The mango bite on the first part was a bit slow the first night, but we picked them pretty much all night. There was a scattering of gags as well. In the morning, uh, it stayed pretty picky as well. And we picked fish, when I say pick, you know, here and there, all throughout the day. But then in the afternoon, we got on a big uh, red snapper bite, like Jason was saying, and there was at least a 130 plus pound grouper caught. I got a gag early in the morning and uh, limited out on red snapper. I would say my biggest one is, again, pretty much the same as has been, about 15 pounds. And my smallest one is around 10. And I got another gag on the very last, about five minutes, maybe three minutes before the captain said it was time to go home, I got slammed and caught about a 15 pound gag. So you can't, uh, can't go wrong with that. <laughs> it's real hazy out here. I don't know if this is that Sahara sand or not, but I'm gonna give you a panoramic view. It's not all that cloudy, it's just real, real hazy. So it could be that dust in the upper atmosphere. But still, as I always say, do I have an office with a view or what? Well, good morning, everybody. That's the Johns Pass Bridge you see in the distance there. We're probably about 15 or 20 minutes out from the dock itself. And uh, we're coming off of, of a very good trip. We caught uh, the really a boat limit of Red Snapper, decent number of gags, uh, including uh, one probably in the 30 pound range and a couple of others pushing that. I myself was fortunate enough to get two gags. It was interesting. I, I got one right at daybreak and I got the other one literally on my last cast right at sunset so uh i i guess i booked in the the day it was pretty good but uh, i ended up with my limit on uh on red snapper like i've been doing the last few weeks uh i guess my biggest one's probably around 15 pounds and my smallest one's probably around 10 which is a pretty good way to do it the mango bite is has been and, and still is a bit sporadic Although uh, we did pick them throughout the whole trip. It never was what I would call really hot. Uh, it was picky all night and we got some pretty much all during the day. I don't think I got to my limit. I think I'm more around probably about 15, so I'm about five short. But uh, there were some monster uh, beeliners caught. Some uh, three or four pounders, quite a few of them actually. And, uh, red grouper i did get a keeper red grouper there were some decent scamps came up some really nice ones i didn't uh i didn't actually get one myself but overall i would rate this trip as as very good very solid and i think everyone that's out here is very happy we get a lot of we have yeah you know, we get quite a few regular leaving the Gulf of Mexico and entering Boca Siga Bay and it is a beautiful sight all right ladies and gentlemen as promised we're gonna film Captain Brian as he backs this boat down I think all the statute of limitations is out on you by now so you're probably all right <laughs> these are the controls right here he operates he turns it over flips a switch in the uh, in the cabin there and then uh, it gives control to the stern of the boat and basically the way they do it is with the uh, props this is a dual prop boat and we have two engines and thus two props and they use the the power of the props and that's what these levers are and it uh, by changing the speed they can literally maneuver the boat you could actually drive the boat all the way home but it would take you a while to do it that way but uh, they use it to back the boat in, and Captain Brian is a professional at this. 
Haven't hit anything all week? Haven't hit anything all week. Oh, it is Sunday. <laughs> you got time yet. <laughs> but you can see what he's doing is putting this boat right in this slip. And he's done it a time or two. See, they got the barrels of ice ready to go. This boat, as I said earlier, is going to make a quick turnaround for a half day. Most of that ice is prepared for the uh, 39 hour that they're going to be doing at 3 o'clock today. Are you doing the uh, trip this afternoon? No, man? Captain Garrett has them. Captain Garrett. So they rotate out quite often. Good job, sir. I'm going to head on down and watch them tie it around. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? You have a good time? Oh, yes. Exhausted. Right. Yeah. Exhausted? Yes. It is an endurance. It's an, it's an endurance trip, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's the start good. of the pile here. Nice gag right off the bat. Red snapper, the omnipresent Jason pulling the fish out. You can see how well their ice. Look at that layer upon layer. Keep them well preserved here. And that fish is beautiful. Take them home to mama, she'll be happy. Of course, there were some mamas that were probably taking them home to papa this day. Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a nice huge pile of fish. Captain Brian and the boys just got back in from a 39 hour. And Captain Brian and the crew put a hurting on them. Will, it looks like you got a huge pile of fish here, man. Yeah, we got them. Looks like some big scamps, some big gags, lots of red snapper, mangroves, some yellowtail. Look at all those gags. That red grouper over there looks huge, man. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Some kingfish tails, I see. Looks like a killer trip, huh? Oh, yeah, great trip. We hit the mangoes hard at night. Uh, people had, uh, Walter had 20 mangoes at night. And, Dang. Uh, and mix some big red snappers in there. And we hit some relatively small red snappers in the morning and uh, strung up several of them. And then they just got bigger and bigger and bigger throughout the day. And by the end of the day, we had our limit and we're throwing back some of the biggest snappers in the trail. Wow, some big, big fish, man. Looks like a killer catch for this 39 hour fishing trip. And you got more of them to come, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, There's got it. fish out there. Left plenty of them biting. Still got another trip tomorrow, Friday, Sunday. Got tons of 39 hour and 12 hour extreme trips left this red snapper season. Looks like a heck of a catch. Thanks, Will. Yes, sir. Wow. Mountain of fish. Hi, Stringer, sir. All right. A family that fishing together. <laughs> yes. I think you're gonna need a bigger cooler, like I told you. Yes. Yeetis. So y'all had a good time. Is. Yes, we did. This You'd recommend really it to others. Oh, All right. Yes, indeed. All the way from Venice, Florida. Yes. Not Italy, but Florida. Yes, Venice, Florida. Just Florida. Are you sure you're gonna those gonna make it? Yeah, let's just put them in bag. Yeah. Here, you better put them in my bag. Put them in your bag? Oh, yeah, put them in her bag. That's the way everything, money and everything, brother. Cool, I hear that. Coolers of fish, bags of fish. No, honey. Are you ready for me? One thing I've learned in life, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. True that. Dog, cat, nobody. 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 So how much did it weigh? 14. 14, nice. Oh, yeah. 14. Bag, More bags of food. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Right? Wow. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Yes, sir. They're lining up for the fish cleaning already. That's what you see here. Piles of fish for the fish cleaning. What a stringer that is. Going into the cooler. I don't think that's going in that it's bag. Not. We're going to have them clean here anyways. <laughs> What 
So that's your pile piling up right there, isn't it? Did you have a good time? I really did. Alright. Okay, this is this is 53. Which one is which? Another family that fishes together. You just better do what she tells you. I, I will. I know, I know that. Wait, the big fish weighs 16 pounds, mine weighs 16 and a half. Oh man. How long have y'all been married? Ten years. Ten years, all right. Is that your grandson there? Yes. All right, I saw y'all fishing together. It's his birthday. We're well, happy birthday. birthday. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Well, I tell you, he's a, he may not want to hear this because it might not be cool, but he's a very polite young man. Oh, he is. I know if that's cool or not these days. No, that, to me it is. It doesn't matter. He was raised right. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate y'all coming. Okay. You need to lift this up somehow. Yeah, come on, grandson. Go to work. Not the thing. <laughs> All right, man. Good job. Go ahead. Take your picture. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a picture. Y'all taking a picture. <laughs> So where did y'all come from to make this trip? Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Actually, Cincinnati. It's going to take Cincinnati. About 15 hours to get home. Well, have a safe journey home. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. You'll be on the video, I assure you. Look at Hubbard's YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Take a couple of days. This is your first trip, right? Yes. First trip. He said he came because of the videos, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so where are you coming from? Atlanta. Atlanta, GA. Atlanta. Well, have a safe trip home. I look Thank forward to fishing much. with you again. Yeah, you All right. Well, that's going to do it here. Oh, Hubbard's oh, Marina. Oh, yeah, 39 that's hour. That's, that's the one that was your fifth. <laughs> that's one you couldn't count. Oh, that would have been a big one. 21-2. Wow, nice. Biggest one I've seen this year. All right, well, that's going to do it here at Hubbard's Marina. I got to put my mask on here. You know, we are, I don't know, do I look better this way? Probably. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but this is the uh, end of the trip. But as I always say, no trip is truly over until we get the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. Yes, we have to get the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. They make it all possible here. They make Captain Dillon look good. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, latest edition of the 39-hour trip. So this is John Martin signing off here at Madeira Beach. Up next, the 44-hour trip. Lord willing, I'll be here. Come on and join us. And as old Captain Wilson always used to say, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. Take care.